Hey guys, welcome back. It's Grim Reaper coming at you with another video for Raid Shadows. Today we are going to do arena showcase on two of the teams. One freshly built for In Harmony. So right now I'm practicing for Plat Arena and I'm practicing against In Harmony teams. So anyone with a Harmony has a target on the back from me uh, and I'm just looking to fast farm them really as possible, uh, as quick as possible. Now one of these teams always work and always be like 90% consistent which is going to be the Venus and Cubulus comp which you already saw um, but I have put a new team together for like double revive or a bit more tankier teams so let's get into it and then I'll show you uh, some of the builds and, and stuff like that so I'm probably just going to show you the Tervis, the Tervol and the Cubulus uh, build so um, Everything else we went over with Cubitus Comp in my Plat Arena video, which I will ping at the end of this video or ping over the top somewhere. So let's get into it then and show you what I have been working on. <clears throat> now I've been working on this for two days, so I'm going to use the Venus Comps mainly against anyone with Warlord or running a Lockout Champion who is fairly squishy. So, for example, Seafy is quite squishy, right? So I'm able to farm this now. My other team won't work against faster teams or lockouts, so I will have to bear that in mind and be careful of that. So, um, as you can see, this is like basically all full auto, um, and we want to kill the team as fast as possible. So, Kaima will cause us a little bit of trouble there, but nothing too much because we just get woken straight back up. Um, honestly, most people will struggle against these teams, but if you have a Necrids and Necrids in both my teams, so it kind of shows you like how strong he is on uh, defense. And we'll order away kills up again. So C F is not a problem really. She's like pretty squishy as a champion, and it's allowed us to deal with it quite nicely. Um, so we here we go. We'll get waking up again, and once C F goes down, really. It's end of the game. Stays alive by an inch there. Here comes the ally attack. Swift Perry keep her up. It's a bit rough. Swift Perry. And Harmony's gone down. Warlord's got to lock us out again. Which actually goes into my favour. Boom. 1 minute 30. Now I did attack this team earlier. And I got it about 52 seconds. So he's been slightly lucky here with this uh, and we will finish this up now i did try um i did try mafala but i just felt like i was having way more success with um uh well, was a bit unlucky there so we're gonna try again mm -mm -mm. i do click on a reviver to try and make it fast as possible uh and stuff like that mm -mm. let's see how hot shot is Hot shot. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So we should be able to dominate pretty much here. Uh, the lockout is a bit annoying because it does stop us ally attacking, which does help. Mm. Uh, there she goes. She goes down pretty fast. You don't want to make your champions too fast. The trick of this is making them slow so uh, they have more time to bolster and stuff like that to counter attack. You see, this has been much easier. Mm. Ideally, we don't want to be losing any on reset. So, 1 minute 30. So, ideally, you'll find people as fast as possible. If you don't have the duo and stuff like that, it's quite hard to build like Farlem comps right now in Arena. So, um, ideally, if your defense is less than more than a minute, GG. Uh, if you're farming faster than a minute, GG. Um, if you are farming consistently in a minute and a half, even to two minutes, but hitting high level points, you generally will be good. Um, about 90% of the people even push plat, their offer senses are not amazing, if I'm honest, because any of the top 50 are going to really do some work there. Okay, so that's the first 
team that we're going to use. So I'm mainly going to use that on uh, fast and squishy teams. So here, what we have is a very fast warlord. So we're talking 356 speed. So he's going to most likely go before anyone else, which is the most key bit, because you really do want to lock him out. Mm, you want a fast duchess, so my duchess in bolster, so put all the block buffs. You ideally, there's no reason why you want your warlord fast, is to keep up the lockout. So mine is like extremely fast. A baron, so like turbo is just amazing right now, and I think he's probably my best on the best nuker on the game uh, on my account. So we generally want to pick off anyone that we can one shot. So no, duchess has got stoskin right now. So there's no point trying to go for her. So once we've got in harmony, um, we should be fine as long as the Duchess doesn't get a, a revive back too quickly. Uh, we've been up against high resistance Duchess already with this comp, so and that caused us a little bit of issues, but not too much. See, uh, so we've got lockout one turn away. She's got to do day one because my warlord's just overlapping them, which is great for me. We've got that ally attack, which is going to allow my turbo to get some damage in. Unfortunately, we didn't. I think it's because he wasn't crit capped, if I'm honest. Mm, we've been um, petrified twice, which is going to be a lifesaver for him right now. Hmm. Honestly, my father is very difficult to deal with. She kind of counters this team a little bit of mine because she brings the strength on, so it's very hard to one shot. So, we do have about 7,000 attack on my turbo. There we are. So, now we can go ahead and pick off um, in harmony. She's going to provoke us. We do get sheep, which is really, really unlucky. I can't wait for the sheep to be nerfed, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it's just a, it's, it's a typical that I'm recording right now, and then I get sheep, so uh, which is a bit annoying, if I'm honest. Mm. And then my father is just starting to control us a little bit too much, for my liking. The is not uh, protected right now, which makes me a bit unease. Necrid goes down, which is even worse. Mm, okay, so this was way faster. I think this is the first half to come with Fala on actually in this team. So she definitely did make it way harder, but not other words yet. Um. This is like, we don't want three minute fights, but I was consistently farming uh, a minute to a minute and a half in harmonies with his team, so I think we was a bit lucky there. Uh, we do have, uh, what's his name? Lucy. Okay, so, ideally, we are straight in. So, Sifi shouldn't have any reaction. She'll go first anyway, which will bring some buffs. A bit of annoying. Duchess is open, but I want to go for Sifi first because Sifi brings the increased defense and the speed up. So Sifi will allow them to possibly outrun my warlord if we're not careful. Um, it should be an easy one shot now. She's got no buffs on her. UDK does make it a little bit tricky, but we should be okay still. And then we should be able to soften up Duchess with the ally attack quite well. UDK loses his stone skin, so we've got one turn before. Oh, increased defense, okay. Hmm. Okay. Are we going to get the lockout before she revives? Okay, she, she still can't revive because she's too slow. 
Most people are running slow def uh, Duchess still on defense. Compared to my Warlord speed anyway. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so should be able to finish off Duchess. Yeah, oh, we don't. I think it might be because Ian Harmony's passive as well. Let's try take her out because I know with Duchess. That'll be a bit annoying. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So Duchess shouldn't be able to revive still. Ah, there we are. Two minutes. So two minutes is a bit slow. Uh, we do want... Mm, okay. So if we see a mortal carb, I will drop it and we'll use... Um, we will use another ally attack champion. That's simple. Okay, so we'll go into here. I do prefer the warlord, but right now gonna work with what we got. And take out her. We'll revive, that's fine. I like to... We'll cleanse. Mm -mm -mm. I'll take out Pythion, one shot. That Mortal Macabre is very slow. He's like 110. He's got no speed whatsoever. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Not even worried about that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There goes more two. Mm -mm -mm. So I think if there's a multi macabre, we drop the warlord in, and then we come in with uh, another ally attack. Beautiful. Sorry, Tim. Not sorry, really, but still. Mm. We are in harmony hunting right now. Again, we got Mr. Tim, so we're going to attack him again. Why not? Mm-mm. 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 Uh, one shot in harmony. Oof. Too easy. Another one shot. Um, okay, so I'll put that there. Suppose we just play that up. We know that he's revived already, so we're just gonna do that. And then we'll take out Python again. One shot again. Mm. One shot. One minute this time. One minute on Tim, so it's faster. Mm. So the, the double ally attack as well is pretty strong against this as well. Mm. I think it's definitely a lot of practicing I need to do. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so we'll just do that into him. We're not going to do the extra turn or anything. Uh, protect him. We have a double revive here on our hands. I think this is where Warlord is probably better than Cardio. 
Okay, we're gonna go for Duchess. And once we start popping them like that is when we're gonna be fine. We'll take out in home next. And we sit back and enjoy the moment. Thurvolt's mm, 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 mm. so strong, man. Right now, I think he's probably my best nuke on the account, even better than probably Rodas and um, Baron for my offense teams. And pop. I think you're ready, Thurvolt. Lovely. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, now the Rodos kind of makes this very interesting. I mean, he's empowered as well, so he's empowered to how, so definitely a big advantage. I guess he was starting to do some work here already. That was a bit nasty. Ooh, mama. That's it. Keep hitting me. Keep hitting me, baby. That's it. AOE, baby. Uh, you bring her up just so for her to die again. I go see fee. And now we just gotta wait for UDK to drop. And Rodus was no good here as well. Hmm. Uh, we've been sheeped last minute. <coughs> you knew the sheep was coming out, to be fair. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I've been sheeped again. The sheep is just really hold us up. UK, UK, UK pulls it back solo as a team. Right, there we are. So, um, we're going to call that for that. Uh, let's just see where we're sitting in rankings right now. Uh, 28. That's a, that's a little bit respectful, right? Right, so, um, let's go into the build then of Tervolt. So, we have a two star blessing on Tervolt, and as you can see, He's oiled up a little bit. If I'm honest, he doesn't have the best gear on him right now for when it comes to Savage. So I might change that up. But right now we have a reaction banner with a triple speed and a single attack roll on it. Then we have a triple attack, flat attack and critical damage amulet. And then we have a triple attack with attack ring on it, on a six star ring. We have tap boots with critical damage. We have attack um, chest with flat ascended attack. And then we have critical right critical damage. We have critical damage with critical damage ascended with a triple attack with a flat attack as well. Um, we have a double critical damage and double critical rate. We also have a, then a triple attack with a single critical rate roll. And then we have a, a critical rate, critical damage and speed roll. So... This will give me the total stats of uh, 7,600 attack, um, 
150 speed now he does increase his own speed so that does help him quite a bit and it does help with him to be quite slow with Necrid with the ally attack and just allows Duchess to keep them veils up over him a bit more uh, we do have the critical rate at 75 because he does increase his own critical rate and we do have a critical uh, damage of 279 now I would like the critical damage to go towards the 300 mark and that is doable once we have the panther coming up to the full star which is what I'll be looking out for obviously um, and that would bo uh, boost us up so let's have a look at the masteries um, if I'm honest I'm going to probably just go ahead and change these masteries because right now these masteries don't fit the current meta um, now most of these masteries do uh, but there is, there is like one or two things that I kind of want to change from this so um, let me go ahead and change these up so what I want to do is I want to take critical rate obviously with the critical damage and shield breaker now a lot of people run bolster so it kind of makes a sense to go ahead and take that we still want ruthless ambush this is one of my favorite masteries in the game um, increase the increase the damage inflicted to targets with 40% with less than 40% HP uh, don't feel this is yeah we'll take this one uh, we don't run a Kaimar or anything so I'm not too bothered about that we'll increase the damage by 6% when attacking a target with a high max HP which is pretty much most of the time uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and take cycle of violence now I don't normally take this on Rena's uh, champions but I do feel this prox on his A3 that this will make his more consistent and I think the cooldown for that ability if I don't kill that ability straight away to get the full reset then that will be quite useful so I'm going to go ahead and I'll take that as well and then I'm going to take uh, myth mythical and uh, kill stake as normal and then we're going to take hammer smash up at 25% chance of ignoring defense and then we're just going to go down here and take the same, try and get the retribution, mastery, uh, and stuff like that. So we'll take that and that. So for me, these are better masteries now than I had last time. So for me, this is the the right masteries that you should be taking for your turbo. Generally, shield breaker in there just because of the bolster. down. I think like 25. Um ascent damage that's huge that's huge like if there's a bolster set that's gonna be huge even a shield set so yeah um for me that is that um i think that's i think that's the only champion for me to really show because i always showed cubus and venus last week so yeah um there you are guys there is my video on mr uh on my two harmony counters uh, hopefully it'll work out for me in plat arena this week and hopefully we can get a one step closer to that. So please remember to like, comment and subscribe to the video. It does really help to support the channel and carry on making me uh, making useful content for you guys. Till then, peace out.